this for the edge 2008 gets overheated and the fan doesn't turn on so the first thing I will think of is uh, checking the fan fuses so let's open the fuse box press this clip to the inside and open the fuse box fan fuses is number five and number six so let's check those two fuses it seems okay we can check it also with a multimeter to make sure it has connectivity so, okay, it has conductivity so this fuse is also okay let's check the other fuse yeah it has conductivity also measures resistance so the fuses are okay let's close the fan fuse, uh, the fuse box the second thing we will check the fan motor This is the input power to the fan motor through this connector which is connected to the fan relay here the fan relay this is the fan relay and here is the connector so we will separate the connector and connect it directly to the battery and you check if the fan motor will work or not here is the connector and we will connect it to the battery we will use this lead which has clevers now we are going to connect these two terminals to the battery and we check if the fan works or not it doesn't matter if you reverse the connections since this fan motor is a DC motor so it will just reverse its turning Fine. Next step, we are going to check the fan relay. This one, okay? So we need to take off the intake in order to approach the fan relay. So we will uh, take off this 8 millimeter bolt
now we are going to remove these clips. and open these clips also and this one okay. and we took also the air filter so this is the fan relay so we will take off this fan connector and as you can see it has three input wires the red one this one is for the uh, positive power and this is for the ground and this colored this small colored wire is for the signal coming from the ECU which uh, turns the fan on and off based on the engine temperature so we will take this connector off and we will try to connect the power and a signal to the fan relay and to check if the fan will turn on or not. Okay. So there is a screw here, right here. We will take it off in order to take off this fan relay okay and then we slide the relay it's out so this is the fan relay it has three terminals uh, two for the power positive and negative and the small one small bin you see inside this is for the signal so i connected this uh, bin with a wire here this wire and i will send a signal to this wire after connecting the power so i connected one of the uh, power inputs here and the second one we will connect it and then we will connect the other terminals to the battery so now we connected the power to the fan relay and we connected also a signal coming from a BWM here through this wire to the wire in the fan relay so now we are generating a signal from this small device which is called BWM Pulse Module Pulse Width Modulation and it has four terminals as you see or four boards two of them are connected to the battery positive and negative and the third one is this, this white also is connected to the ground of the battery which is a common ground and the red one is the output signal of this device which is connected to the to the fan relay now we are going to connect this power input to the fan relay to the battery and check if the fan will work or not so here is the negative is connected and here 
Is it positive? Okay. Now, see, the fan. So, the fan play. So the fan relay is, is okay. This BWM pulse width modulator, it has a duty cycle, which you can increase it or decrease it. So you can uh, change the fan speed and it has a frequency. The frequency is not important. You can just choose 500 Hertz or any frequency. It does not affect the fan speed. So now we are sure this fan relay is fine. So next, we are going to check this connector. It has three, power, three inputs, two for the power, positive and negative, and one for the signal. So as you see, we build this wire for, of the signal and we will send the BWM device signal to this wire here so we can make sure if this connector has a problem or the wire has a problem or any of them has a problem so we will check this but before we check this we can measure the power inputs in these two wires using the multimeter So now we are going to use the multimeter to measure the power input to the fan relay. So we switch it, the multimeter to the DC volt 20, DC volt, and we are going to measure the input power here. See, it has 12 volt, DC volt reading. So this, these two wires has a power. Now we want to make sure this signal card wire doesn't have a problem or bad connections. And we want to make sure also if this connector has a problem or not. So we will now connect this connector again to the fan relay. So as you see, the fan worked when we connect, but we want to make sure this wire doesn't have a problem so we will take off this signal sent by the BWM and we will connect this wire here now before we connect this wire let's Now let's send the BWM signal to this wire here and see if the fan will work or not. See, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So if now we connect this wire, which is going directly to the fan relay and bypassing this connector. You hear? The fan is working. So 
the problem is in this connector. So this connector needs to be replaced. So now we are just going to bypass this connector using this wire until we order a new uh, connector. So let's make a final check using the BWM signal before we wrap up everything here. So here. Okay.